a different kind of symphonic sound near Station Square. Crews are now working around the clock to clear the mangled mess of metal caused by Sunday's train derailment. Now, part of Carson Street and the Smithfield Street Bridge are remain closed at this moment during this clearing operation. Good afternoon. I'm Stacy Smith. And I'm Christine Sorensen. Officials say it'll take longer than expected to remove all the wreckage and get the T running through Station Square again. We have team coverage. Pam Serrano is in the South Hills where the morning commute has been a major headache for hundreds of people. But we begin with Amy Wattis. She's live near the scene where city officials just provided an update on some of the problems crews are running into. Amy. That's right, and crews just removed one of those uh, freight cars from the T track and placed it onto the sidewalk below. You can see they used that very large crane here to lift it up with metal chains to place it carefully on the sidewalk. Now they're being very tedious and very methodical here because they don't want anyone to get hurt in the process. And they hope lowering the next train doesn't take as long. This took about six and a half hours just to remove one of these cars. 72 hours was what was originally needed to get this mess cleaned up, but city officials say that could change. Seven rail cars on a 7,600 foot long Norfolk Southern double stack intermodal train derailed. Crews have three different plans on the table. There's a lot of consultation going on between the Port Authority, the utility companies who have lines below the roadway, and of course Norfolk Southern, as well as the uh, Pittsburgh. Crews are looking at different ways to bring the rail cars down onto the roadway, but there's a risk no matter what option they choose. This is a very fluid situation and there is risk. Uh, that's why we have medic units standing by and fire and engines standing by. Especially after a close call this morning. Front loader hit a power line that was thought to be de-energized and it turned out to be energized, so uh, we've taken the necessary precautions to ensure that will not happen again. Now the Smithfield Street Bridge will stay closed through this afternoon rush. Pedestrians, though, will be allowed to use the bridge. Uh, West Carson Street from Arlington Avenue all the way down to the Four Pit Bridge will remain closed as well until this whole process is cleaned up. We don't know what actually caused this train derailment yesterday. Crews say it's under investigation. Once we get more information for you, of course, we will pass that along. For now, we are live from Station Square. Amy Wattis, KDKA TV News.